Hey guys, my name is Stally, and I want to take you guys through the history of the Fable games. Today I'm going to be starting a new series where I take a trip back down memory lane to the first Fable game and tell you guys what the history and lore of the franchise is. In today's episode, I'm going to be starting it all by telling you how the series started and why it blew up into something outright amazing. Lionhead Studios were the ones to come up with the idea, but before Fable, the studio had produced a simulation game known as Black and White. This game looks very similar to one of the later stages in Maxis's title, Spore, but I can't say for sure as I've personally not played it yet. The first version of the game, Fable, was shipped for the original Xbox on September 14th, 2004. An extended version of the first installment, Fable, The Lost Chapters, was released for Windows and the original Xbox in September of 2005, which we shall talk about in a later episode. The Fable series takes place in a fictional nation of Albion, a state that at the time of the first game is composed of numerous city-states with vast countryside or wilderness in between. The setting originally resembles medieval England, which is why it is known as Albion, being the oldest name for the island of Great Britain. The first ever Fable game, just known as Fable, has you start off as a young orphaned boy, who is forced into a life of heroism when bandits attack his village. Your character's family have either been killed or taken as prisoner by the bandits that destroyed your village, so obviously you'd want some sort of vengeance. As you're playing only as a young boy who's pretty measly and won't stand a chance in a fight against the barbaric men that you want to challenge, you'll have to encounter some sort of intense training, which is where the Heroes Guild comes in. Through the course of the game, you are taken away by your only hope of retribution, a prestigious member of the Heroes Guild who helps you train up and then sends you out to fight the big bad world who once took your family away from you. Whilst let loose in the world of Albion, you encounter many strange enemies which range from the undead like Hobbes or Holloman to the very much alive like bandits. Throughout the game as well as its sequels, you will stumble across bosses for most different kinds of common enemy, which is fairly common in games nowadays. The Fable franchise seem to introduce each boss like they're some sort of supreme overlord, even when they're just a magic wielding hope, which becomes fairly common in the later stages of the game. This game has some of the best voice acting for its purpose in any game, in my opinion. Along with some of the cutscenes, this game could make your day the utmost happier. I don't want to explain any more about the game because there's something unexpected that occurs during the last segment of it, and I wouldn't want to ruin it for you. There isn't an exact reason why people love the franchise so much, because everybody has their own personal opinion, but what makes Fable so good for me is the combination with the voice acting and hilarious cutscenes, along with the gameplay and the fighting system. That really makes the game for me. I'm curious, if you guys are fans of the series, please do tell me what makes you enjoy these games so much. Next episode, I will start to go in more depth with the backstory of the first Fable and possibly introduce the remake. I really hope you enjoyed, make sure to return for the next episode, and if you want more of me, hit that like button and subscribe. My name is Stelly111 and I hope you have a great evening.